All right, ladies, have you ever wondered what men notice about you when they first meet you? What are the things that we pay attention to as we get to know you better? Because you might be spending a lot of money, time and energy on your looks, but yet you've seen a man lose interest in the relationship. Even if he found you pretty, he ended up walking away or choosing another woman over you. My name is Ismael Gomez, I'm a coach, writer, and speaker, and I'm here to tell you ladies that you should stop multitasking right now. Yes, I know that you're probably doing a million other things besides watching this video, and if you truly want to change your love life, which is probably the reason that you clicked on this video, then give me your full attention right now, okay? Because I'm about to share seven things that you ladies have no idea we men notice about you. So let's go one by one, and I promise you that by the end of it, you look at your interactions with men in a complete different light. So let's begin. Number one element that most men notice about you is how much do you gossip, especially about other women. Yes, it might seem like casual conversation to you, but we men pay close attention when women talk about other women. And I know that you might be wondering, really Ismail, do men pay attention to that? And don't go out there telling other guys that I'm sharing this with you, but yes, we do. The reason is that it's not just the gossip, okay, that grabs a man's attention. It's what it reveals about your true personality. Because the way that you talk about other people can say a lot about you. Trust me, an intelligent, mature man, which hopefully is the type of man that you want for yourself, he will grow disillusioned when you frequently engage in negative gossip about other women. Also, men worry that, you know, a partner who gossips frequently could share private information about them with other people, leading to trust issues in the relationship. Now, I know that sometimes, you know, you enjoy gossiping with your girlfriends here and there, and there's nothing wrong with that when it's done in moderation, yet, I suggest that you save those discussions for your female friends and not your partner. It's a small way, you know, that you can shape the way that he perceives you. The number two thing that men notice about you is your social media. Because when you first meet a man, here's what I can tell you, okay? He'll take a look at your posts and comments to get a sense of who you are and who you interact with in your replies. And one thing that he'll focus on is how much do you seek attention from other men? Now, I'm not going to tell you, you know, don't post pictures in a bikini all the time. Don't post, you know, sexualized images where you're almost half naked. Do as you please. But keep in mind, all right, that whatever you use to impress other people will be the type of people that you attract. Like, I could be posting shirtless pictures of me on my Instagram, you know, showing my six pack, flexing my muscles, but I know that if I were to do that, I will probably attract a different type of woman than a woman who sees my videos talking about relationships and self-development and she's attracted to my energy and ideas. So next time that you're posting, remember that it's not just about the picture, but the story that it tells. Because the man that you're interested in may get the wrong idea about you before you have time to explain. Alright, the number three thing that never goes unnoticed by men is how a woman smells. The way that you smell can leave a lasting impression, sometimes even more powerful than a visual memory. And it's not just about having good hygiene, okay? It's about having a specific scent that leaves an imprint in his memory. I remember this girl that I dated once. She had a coconut scent in her hair, followed by a strong perfume that she used. She had minty breath from chewing gum, and she had this also this scent of like sea salt from her shower gel. She had about 20 different scents that were overpowering every time that we were hanging out and ultimately it was forgettable and here's a fun fact some research studies that i've read online actually suggest that there's certain floral scents like jasmine lavender as well as fruity scents like vanilla and citrus that can have a positive impact on perceived attractiveness so go read more about it online if you're curious about this topic Number four thing that men observe about you ladies is the amount of makeup that you wear. Many surveys have been conducted among men and where they were asked, let's say, to comment on pictures of women. And what they show was that most guys prefer the appearance of women who wear makeup, let's say, expertly applied to look natural or with minimal artificial color. So in simple terms, less is more. I mean, in my personal experience, I find you know, the most charming look in a woman to be when she's just woken up, you know, no makeup, sleepy face and messy hair. I mean, the few times that I've been in love in the past, 
I was able to admire these women in their most natural state because I could truly see you know their expressions and the essence of their beauty now makeup is a great tool i'm not gonna <laughs> deny that and you can use it to your advantage but make sure that you use it in a way that looks effortless because excessive makeup is something that turns off most men and at least that's what i hear from <laughs> most of them and that's how i feel myself so i'm just letting you know all right beautiful and number five we have your inner circle who are your friends? This speaks volumes to men. When he takes a glance at the company that you keep, it's not about just, you know, putting names to faces. It's about understanding the vibe and dynamics of your group. I don't know if you heard the quote, tell me who you hang out with and I'll tell you who you are. And I've seen so many relationships with great potential for long-term commitment being ruined because the woman's friends gave her horrible advice. I mean, I've dated women in the past that when I looked around, okay, and I saw her friends, all of them were single, hooking up with a different guy every month, and I was like, nope, thank you, this is not for me. I mean, imagine if you start dating a guy, okay, and you see that his two best friends are cheating on their wives all the time. You might think, well, my man is different, but just imagine that his two best friends are telling him every day, hey, it's okay to cheat, who cares? Sooner or later, you know, he may consider the idea. Number six behavior that men secretly observe is how a woman speaks about her father. When you share stories or you mention your father, men notice the tone that you use, okay? The words chosen and the emotions which paint a picture of your family life. Men subconsciously understand that usually the way that you perceive your father is the way that you perceive all men. A woman who never had her father's unconditional love and affection will struggle to understand what it feels like to be loved by a man. That's why many times she will be anxiously seeking attention in her relationships rather than expecting appreciation. Because the bare minimum feels like enough when that's what you were taught to receive. And final number seven is the way that you react when things don't go your way. Believe it or not, you know, the way that you react to disappointment is a major sign that men notice. It's not about expecting you to be perfect or never face setbacks, but rather observing how you handle these moments. A man pays close attention to these reactions, all right? He wants to know that the woman that he's chosen is an emotional, mature woman. If he's thinking of a long-term partnership, he wants someone that can handle the complexities of life. So remember that the next time that you find yourself in a situation where things don't go as planned, just remember that men watch secretly if you maintain yourself gracefully in this period. Now, what I want you to understand about these seven things that women have no idea men notice about them is that this is not for you to take this knowledge and start faking your behavior. This is for you to think about some of the things that men value and work on yourself so you can attract a high quality partner. Because I promise you that the women that excel in these seven elements that I just mentioned are usually the ones that end up with a secure, mature gentleman. Anyways, thanks for subscribing to my channel. Ladies, I'm glad that you've chosen me to learn about love, dating, and relationship dynamics. Because like I always say, for your relationships to change, you need to change. Have a beautiful day.